Hello, this is Fawn at Fawn's Art Studio, and I just want to show you my newest mixed media uh, original painting. And I've started this series of adding found objects to my paintings. And uh, this one's loaded <laughs> with all kind of fun stuff. I've not had so much fun in a long time. Um, so the seashells I found at the beach and the uh, sea glass and sand dollars a friend gave to me and the wood I found at the lake it's really cool and you can see the 3d effect here this is painted on hardboard cradled hardboard and I uh, try to wrap some of the painting around the edge there to finish it out. I'll probably frame this in a floater frame so a little of the edges will still show. But that's always nice to add a little extra wrap around. Some people just paint those sides all black or dark gray or something or brown, uh, which is fine too. So I had this little um, thing on Facebook where I asked for suggestions for titles because I didn't really know what to call it and uh, I wanted something exciting and fun but I was just coming up with stuff like you know starfish <laughs> sea star uh, so I got some really good ideas and I think I'm gonna go with a combination of a couple of them uh, one suggestion was ocean wonders and one was seaside celebration and I really liked both of those a lot I, I mean I liked them all they were all cool but I'm gonna go with the uh, Seaside Wonders for this. This is a 10 by 10. Um, it has got so many cool things in there. I've, I've been learning about uh, super heavy gesso and um, it's real thick. It's nice to, when it dries to paint over, it's a really nice surface and modeling paste acrylic modeling paste adheres things really well uh, and it's thick it's harder to paint over so i added the paint to the uh, sand you can see to make the thick textures and um, put a glob of it on things that were heavy or big the, the little seashell there with the shells stuck to it the white one um, i used the modeling paste as well as the starfish it has modeling paste all up underneath it to hold it on there um, and the wood the lighter things especially like the sand dollars i used uh, gel medium which is clear and and the glass the sea glass i used gel medium to add it as well now some parts i painted first and then added things and some parts i added things in Paint it over. You can see the starfish I found at Walmart. It was white, and uh, it it was just cool to me. And I just love the the effect. I looked up pictures online, and I uh, found one I liked and painted it to look like it's not dead. <laughs> um, so. A knife, a palette knife, painting knife, is used to make all the splash and the sand. But the splash, I uh, turned the painting upside down and I put the knife in there and you can see the texture on the gel medium. I just put globs of it and tapped and pulled and made these cool patterns and let it dry. And then I took the light blues and grays and added those. And then after that dried, I put the white, like a dry brush, dragging it over the surface of those raised areas. Um, and a fan brush to add the spots of splash on the arm of the starfish. And I just thought that was way too cool. I'll just uh, get in there. You can see I hid stuff everywhere, up under there. Cool. Okay, I have a little e-file um, that I'm going to publish soon. I'm working on secret painting tips with acrylic paints, and um, that'll be on my website. You can go to my website, 
fonsartstudio.com to see more of my art. You can email me. You can um, find me on Facebook, ask me questions, and uh, I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day.